Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNC Don. I'm IT Explosive 1. And let's get that timer started. You can't hear it, but oh. it's happening. It's boom. Happening. They can hear my boom. Uh, dude, so I know what now we kind of both eat better or whatever, you know, than we used to back in the day. <laughs> but what, what, what is something that you have used to eat, maybe still currently eat, that is like, a weird little snack, like something that you comboed food together in a way, whether it was junk food or whatever. And you used to eat the crap out of it. Like, this is really good. But like, you can't, I mean, people would be like, what the hell are you eating? Or what are you doing? <laughs> like something like that. Um, I mean, I still like peanut butter and pickles. I haven't had it. Like on a sandwich time. or how do you eat it? Or you just dip the pickle no, in the I mean, peanut you've butter? I've had it before. You've eaten it with me, well, but yeah, I but take, I'm, okay. For the, for the viewer at home, yeah. I would take a pita. Um, because I don't really eat bread. Oh, like a tortilla. Yeah. Okay. And then I would put peanut butter on it and then I'd put like, you know, like a thin layer of peanut butter and then I'd like put a couple pickle spears in there. Okay. I you know, and that actually isn't bad. I did try that. You did try it. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, back in the day, like when I was in elementary school, I used to get at lunch, I would get two pretzel rods and a cup of pudding and I would eat the pudding with the pretzel rod. Like I would dip the prod in and eat it. And then whatever was left, I'd eat with a spoon. I can't do pudding, man. Yeah, anymore. I I don't really eat it very much. Something I mean, it's okay. The, something about the texture of pudding just reminds me too much of phlegm. Oh, and okay. I can see that. I can <laughs> yeah. see that. Yeah, I, I can see the look on your face watching this well, and listening to this video. Well, here's the thing. I like the instant pudding that's cold. They're cold made because my grandma used yeah. to make the hot pudding that gets that film on the top. Oh. That, that, oh. that reminds – I used to take oh. – I remember being a kid and I'd go to my grandma's and she'd be like, you want some pudding? And I would literally have to peel the film off the top oh. because I couldn't do it, bro. It gave me anxiety. All right. Um. <laughs> Anyways, another one that I do, two things. I use – I do these sometimes now as an adult because it's, it's not quite as bad. I will, I'll take a tortilla – like a kind of like a healthy tortilla or whatever. Yeah. And I'll either put bacon bits and cheese in it and put it in the microwave. So I'd make like a bacon bits and cheese tortilla. Or mm-hmm. I'll take a little bit of mozzarella cheese, a spoonful of uh, tomato sauce, and like a few turkey pepperonis. Okay. And make like a little little pizza roll up or a <laughs> bacon and cheese roll up. And they're only like – they end up being like maybe 100 calories or something, 150 calories at the end. But that's a little stupid thing that I make sometimes. No, that's fine. I, I mean – uh I guess I put peanut butter and ice cream. My, my, it's all peanut butter based. Yeah, I mean, look, dude, I put peanut butter in everything. Like, I put peanut butter in oatmeal. I put peanut butter in pickles. I put peanut butter on ice cream. I put peanut, like, I'll take a, a granola bar and I'll put, make like, I'll crack the granola bar in half and then put peanut butter on I'll make one it like a sandwich. And make a peanut butter sandwich out of it. Yeah, I, hey, man. I mean, you like what you like, right? My mother I- actually made fun of me because I would take the peanut, I would take like a, uh, like a pint of ice cream like some Ben and Jerry's oh, okay, or, cool. or some Halo Top or whatever. Put that in the microwave for 20 seconds. Soften it up a little bit. Take a freaking spoonful of peanut butter, two spoonful of peanut butter, and stir <laughs> it up real nice. Yeah. It's like a blizzard. It's like a DQ blizzard. Kind of, yeah. But, yeah, I'm it, a peanut butter fiend. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's any other stuff that like I Like, if the only do. way peanut butter was served was off the head of a dick, I would oh, still... Wow. I would still... Like consider eating. I would yeah, no, no consideration. <laughs> no consideration. So when uh when our fans meet us, just come on in with that peanut butter. <laughs> no, I yeah. said if it was the only way oh, possible. Gotcha. I'm still gonna eat peanut butter. Yeah. But so. peanut butter I'm pretty sure is not just served on the head of a dick everywhere you go. <laughs> That's if fair. you know this restaurant where they do this, please let me know so I can avoid it. But I would like to know yeah. if it exists. What's your What's your favorite like fat boy snack? Like something that's just like god awful to eat that you would just like smash, or something you would combine, or like Pro- whatever. Probably the peanut butter ice cream. But, peanut uh, butter and ice cream. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. I would like. I, like I would probably eat bacon cheddar French fries for every meal if I could not be. Compl- I mean, I, I like I like French fries a lot more baked in the oven now because like the gr- anytime I eat anything deep fried pretty much anymore, I can all I do is taste all the grease. Yeah. But when I used to, I used to be I, whenever I would go out to restaurants, I'd always order. I sometimes would just get the appetizer of cheddar cheese fries and I would, I would eat that as my meal. Like yeah. it's it's just I mean, I don't, like, know, I don't know. Pizza's good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, something about cheese and bacon, dude. I love cheese and bacon a lot. Yeah, they actually and they're don't terrible eat a lot for of, you. They only eat a lot of cheese in like uh like Asian communities. Right, and that's why they're not fat. Yeah, it's hard to digest, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, you think about it, our country basically introduces cheese to everyone at a baby. Really and you do. either either you don't like it, which is more rare than anything, 
or you're lactose intolerant, you can't eat it or whatever. But people just like, and cheese is literally nothing but empty calories. It adds nothing to what you're eating. It's fat, a lot of fat, a lot of uh, high in fat, I should say. A lot of empty calories, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And I think, uh, you know, uh, bacon's kind of the same. Like, I love bacon, but what does bacon really do for anybody? It's, it tastes good. It tastes good. <laughs> Dude, it, here, here's a hot take. Bacon is a condiment. I don't know. Come on. What? What do you? When do you just eat Come a plate on. of bacon? Bacon always goes on something or with something. You don't. You never just ate a bacon strip. I mean, with your breakfast. Yeah, because I was a fat guy. What? Are you telling me that <laughs> no, everybody like, that has bacon for breakfast but you, is fat? You just eat a, a plate of ba- bacon for breakfast. I mean, no. Okay, look, it's a side dish for breakfast. But yeah. Because what's the main course for breakfast? Eggs, waffles. Okay, whatever. so you got eggs. You got you got eggs, toast. Uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told you. You have eggs, waffles, uh, and bacon. What's the main course? Probably the waffles because the biggest. Probably the waffles. Right. But, but here's the thing. You never just eat bacon by – you don't eat a plate of bacon. Bacon always either goes with something yes. or on something. So bacon is either a condiment or a side dish, I'll give you. And it's more of a condiment than a side. <laughs> what – give me – okay. What so do you lettuce eat? is, is what, lettuce is a condiment? What do you eat? No, because you'll have a salad, which is just basically a bowl of lettuce. With stuff on top of it. What do you eat bacon Onion? with that isn't, that isn't like, what, what do you eat bacon other than just like breakfast? You don't just have like a, a ham sandwich and a side of bacon. You could eat a BLT. Right. But I'm saying like the only time bacon is a side is with breakfast. People don't just have like, you don't have like a chicken taco with two strips of bacon. I mean, I don't have mashed potatoes with anything but dinner. <laughs> but people that. will eat mashed potatoes on its own. Like Who's people, eating mashed potatoes? <laughs> people will not eat bacon. Just like, oh, I cooked a pound of bacon breakfast. I mean, I think that's just like a health thing. Nobody, people are like, I should not eat a <laughs> they pound want of bacon to, though, because it's good as hell. I shouldn't eat a half pound of bacon. I would. Everybody would love to eat oh, a dude, half oh, pound of bacon. Yeah, yeah. Like I, but everybody's like, I should not eat a half. And pound that's of the bacon. problem because, like, whatever I buy bacon, usually I just make all of it and I put it in the fridge to like eat whatever. <laughs> but the, all I want to do is eat the whole effing pound all day long, just going and eat. And I'm like, I cannot do this. I have to ration the bacon now. <laughs> that's very. True. It's very true. It's too good for its own good, dude. It's like it's like the forbidden fruit of the meat industry. It's, it's so wait a minute, is onion a condiment? Uh, no. I feel like onion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, people do eat onion Who's rings. Who's eating an onion? People eat those little green onions. My grandpa used to just eat those out the garden. But like, if you're talking like big ass white onions or I'm red onions, about onion period. Like, I feel like I, I, the only reason I say this is because I felt like onion was a condiment is because. Uh, like it kind of fits into that same vein like bacon where like do people eat onions just straight up yeah sometimes but for the most part yeah i would say that's i would say that's facts dude no. yeah onions probably a condiment because yeah no one's just like going out to the garden or going to the store let me get an onion real quick and just eating it chomping it as they walk through exactly. the store exactly yeah because it goes like in hash browns it goes in chili it or goes, on a, something yeah or on a sandwich yeah, or whatever it's, it's, yeah, it's you know another noise. hot take. I think putting bacon in a dish is yeah. a waste. I think if you take bacon and put it like in you, in, in you, a stew or what, you can't taste it. Like, oh, you're saying if you put it in, okay. like if you put it in and in like a yeah in a casserole or whatever. Like yeah, it's in there, and you might be like, oh, there's a piece, but it's, you're basically wasting it for the most part. Because you might as well just get that flavor, homie. That's what's good you about might the bacon. As well, just get that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you put it in there, you're already getting the calories. At least taste it. Exactly right, like dude. If you as long as <laughs> you put it on top that. of fries, you're eating the fries. You're like, I taste bacon. But even like when I make eggs and put bacon in it, I yeah. wait till I'm done and put the bacon on top because if the bacon is in the eggs, the flavor gets disguised. Yeah, that's that's very fair. Yeah, that's very so. fair. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know, just weirdish we talk about, dude. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Uh, for Jonas, TNT. Uh, we are out.